Oh, man. Yeah, I'm really surprised that this could happen. The title is correct. I actually have bed bugs in my tent. Well, actually, it's not a tent. It's my hammock, but I figure it's a better description for the video. So just last week, I discovered this. I was getting, you know, some bites on me and not really sure what was going on. Maybe some mosquito got inside my hammock or something. So I start going around with the light. And sure enough, I've seen these guys before. I had them when I was living in Hawaii. So this is the second time I've had bed bugs. And now I'm going around trying to crush them up. Here's one right here. Let's see if we can. Not going to be so much in focus, but you guys can uh, look up an image on Google of what bed bugs look like. But this is a full size one, you know? So they've been in there for a while, I'm going to say. I don't know when I picked them up. Maybe a couple months ago, maybe, I mean, I'm thinking just a couple months ago, I'm not sure, but uh, I've crushed a whole bunch of them. Here's a couple more here I've crushed up, can't really see, whatever. But where they're hiding, every little seam in here. So in my hammock, uh, it's got this, this section by the hook right here. So here's the hook where the, the end of the hammock would go to the tree like this. And right inside where the mosquito net meets with the nylon, there's just tiny, barely even existent seams. And they're actually on the inside of the hammock more than the outside, but I've been trying to pick through. So you can see kind of here where the fabric comes together, there's some extra bug netting with the nylon. So I'm having to open up this area, looking inside over and over, and just hand picking them out because you know, if, if anybody knows anything about bed bugs, they can hibernate for like months. Even if you bug bomb them, it doesn't work because they're hiding in a place that the smoke doesn't get. You can't really drown them. Uh, they're just super resistant, but they're kind of like cockroaches in a way. Like they're really hard to get rid of. So pretty much you got to just take all your time to just go through. And I'm just surprised this happened, you know, like if you have a bed, that's one thing. It's a bed bug, but I'm talking with a hammock, guys. I got a nylon hammock and I've got bed bugs inside of it. So this can happen in a tent, guys. This can happen with whatever you have. If you just happen to sleep in the wrong place one time, you know, you can get bed bugs. So, you know, they're hibernating out inside the seams here. So every once in a while I find another one and I'm just going through and picking them out because I don't really know what else to do. It's kind of unfortunate, but at least they're not in my bed, so I'm keeping this hammock outside on my balcony so they don't get into the house and get all up in everything because they can hide in your clothes and in like your bag and all that. Like you can get them hiding inside your backpack and stuff too, guys. So maybe I need to check out my backpack now that I'm thinking about it. Might have bed bugs in that too. But anyways, so my hammock has bed bugs and your tent also can get bed bugs. So this is a realization for me. I didn't know this could actually happen. But if you guys have any tips on what I should do besides hand picking out all the bugs, I was thinking maybe just submerging like a bleach water thing and then trying to open the seams so the bleach water gets inside everywhere because they can hide, you know, if there's water they can hide and I think they can breathe underwater or something crazy. These guys are like super resistant and you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing little baby ones in here too. And it's a good thing the babies aren't so microscopic. They're pretty small, uh, but you can see them. Right. Yeah, here's one baby here. So that's about how big they are, which is like the size of. Man, how can you even relate to what this is size? Like the smallest ant, the smallest ant you've seen. That's how big they are. But anyways, guys, just want to post a little video about this because it totally sucks and just want to let you know that it can happen. So be careful where you put your tent and your hammock. And, hey, keep traveling, but try to keep the bugs away as much as you can. But, okay, thanks for watching, guys. And if you got any tips for me, please let me know because this is going to take me a long time. Thanks a lot.